Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for the first half of your February from the 1st to the 15th. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. Um, it could be anybody, okay? Uh, and then we'll uh, take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, you can switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people, so not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So uh, if you're looking for reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Gemini here. What's going on with Gemini in love and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of their February from the 1st to 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Seven of Wands here and the Empress. I mean, this could be you right here. You're really guarded from an individual that you're dealing with here. Could be that there's a lack of trust. Yeah, there's a lack of trust. You know, I feel like, you know, maybe this person's, you know, pretending, you know, to not show their feelings or intentions. You know, maybe this person could be emotionally distant or that this person's a bit of an avoidant. So I feel like you have your guard up with this individual here, uh, uh, a Gemini. Let's see, Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles. This is interesting because I, I feel like you're being breadcrumbs. I, be, I, I feel like you're being strung along here in this situation. I feel like that's why your, your guard is up. I, I, I do feel like because of this, I feel like you're protecting yourself. I, you know, I feel like you're protecting yourself too because I do feel like maybe this person has some sort of like avoid attachment style here. This person has a fear of intimacy. This person has a fear of getting close to somebody here. The Sun, the Wands here. We have the Two of Pentacles, the uh, Empress here. We have the Fool card, Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords here, and the Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles here, and the Strength card. So the Two of Pentacles and the Fool, whoever you're dealing with here, seems like this person doesn't know what they want. It could be that you're having a hard time figuring this person out. This person's very in and out. Uh, this person sometimes can be extremely fun, very engaging, very adventurous. But, you know, and you're, you're having a good time with this individual, but then, you know, and then this person kind of go, goes like silent on you or go ghost on you. Three of Swords and the Strength card here. Whoever you're dealing with here, I, I do feel like you're dealing with someone here that's very emotionally immature. Uh, it could be someone that's younger than you. I, I do feel like this is an individual that's not quite ready for higher levels co of commitment yet, and and I feel like you're 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 sensing you're sensing that your intuition's on overdrive here. The red flags dropping right in front of you here, uh, Gemini. Okay, um, could be dealing with a Leo here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, um, I do feel like you know. In regards to how this person has been treating you, or how this person has been, uh, you know. Uh, dealing with you here, I feel like you've been really patient with this individual. But I feel like it's starting to hurt, okay? Or that this person's hurting themselves. This person's brokenhearted themselves. This person's hurt. This person, you know, perhaps they didn't really have a strong parental figure growing up. And I feel like this person, in a way, sees you as their parents. Yeah. Tell me about Gemini's person. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for the first half of their February from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Knight of Swords here in the Ten of Cups. The Hangman in the Four of Cups. The Hermit in the Five of Pentacles. When it comes to commitment, this person runs away scared. 
look how this Knight of, Wa Knight of Swords is running away from this Ten of Cups. You have a runner here, Gemini. Yeah, and the thing is you're not even chasing. <laughs> Just kind of like, yeah, okay, go. Yeah, uh, it's best not to chase because, you know, you uh, if you chase, you don't allow this person to go through the, the experience that they have to go through to, you know, figure out what they have to figure out. Yeah, that kind of hinder hinders them from doing that. So the hangman here, Piscean energy in the Four of Cups here, and the Hermit Virgo energy in the Five of Pentacles. Seems like, you know, this person runs away and then this person realizes that, oh, wait, I, I do want to be with Gemini. The, the, and then they come back around and then they distance themselves again. It's kind of, I feel like you're getting whiplash with this person here, Gemini. Yeah, you're getting whiplash with this person. It's a bit of a back and forth. It's like watching a ping pong ball go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know? The uh, Knight of Swords at the Eight of Wands here, the um, Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups here. You know, I, I feel like this person wants to keep you in their, keep you in their life. I, but I just, it's, if you, it's, 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 uh, I'm just having a sense that this person knows that they can't disappoint you or that this person has disappointed you multiple times. I do feel like this person has childhood traumas that this person hasn't let go of. Yeah. Um, I, I just feel like this person stresses, you know, wanting to be independent, you know, wanting to be on their own, spending time on their own, which is great. But, you know, I feel like a lot of that really stems from underlying pain that they've never dealt with before. Yeah, I do feel like this person ha has a fear of intimacy or getting close to somebody. The Hermit. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Five of Pentacles here, and the Two of Cups. You know, I feel like what they really want is love. They're looking for love. But they don't know how to accept it. They don't know how to receive it. They don't know how to give it. Um, let's see. What is it? Uh, uh, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. What is the possible outcome and advice here for uh, Gemini regarding their love situation? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, and work on here for the uh, first half of their February from the 1st to 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Ten of Wands here in the Five of Swords. You know, I feel like you're done with the games here. You're done with the confusion here. Yeah, it's just feel like, you know, it, it's just, I feel like this is your energy, Gemini. I just feel like this is too much drama here for you. It's it, it's too gamey. It's starting to become a burden here. This person feels like they're a burden. Yeah, this person feels like they, they are a burden. Yeah, some of the cups here and the ten, uh, the cherry, uh, the death card. You know, one of the things I feel like this person has mouthed all these things to you. Like, you know... Like this person is telling you that they're a burden, you know, they're not good enough, you know, that they don't deserve this, you know. So they're kind of like telling you in a way, they're mapping out for you what exactly what they're going to do here. Uh, the Lover's Gemini Energy, the Death card here, Scorpio Energy, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. The, the back and forth, yeah. It's like... You know, as soon as you release them, this this person is fearful of losing you, and then that's when they are they will approach you again. Seven of Cups, Page of Swords, Death, and the King of Cups. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, pay, uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is extremely confused and extremely lost in life. I do feel like this person does love you, though. Yeah, this person does see you as a wish fulfillment. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. You know, I just feel like it's just not the right time. Yeah, it's just, it, it, this is a divinely guided connection here. And I feel like, you know, there is potential for healing here. Um, that you can support this person on their healing journey. Okay. Or that you could inspire this person to heal. But I feel like this person is not quite getting the memo yet. Not yet anyway. Yeah. Because I don't really see this person doing anything about it. I do feel like if you're separated from this person, I do feel like eventually this can come back together again. That's if this person chooses to make a big change in their life. Yeah, uh, uh, this person po possibly can, especially with the ch uh, King of Cups here and the Death card and the Wheel of Fortune. 
okay? So uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.